Hey everybody, it's still Player 64 and I am bringing you guys more. Well, it's been a while since we've seen that lovable ape wearing that ravishing tie. Um, yeah, this episode of Donkey Kong 64 is to explain all the bonus uh, content of the game. I, I remember a, well, if you guys remember a long time ago, I had K-Meister 8 over and we did some monkey smash. Well, believe it or not, there is a hidden character in this game. Those banana fairies that we collected, going over to the mystery, there is the theater. When you get two um, banana fairies, you can watch a whole bunch of the uh, DK theater intro, um, caves, anything. Enter, hideout, he presses the button, he takes off. By collecting six, you unlock the Jetpack game, the DK Arcade, the Engard and Rambai Arena. Now, I'm going to show those off right now, actually. Uh, I accidentally reset my high scores a long time ago. Uh, I literally forget the purpose of this game and how do you play it. So, let's find out together. Hit the moving targets to increase your score. Okay. Oh, there they are. So, you're just going to rack up some combos with Rab... I almost called them Rabbi. Oh, my lord. Anyways, um, yeah, as of recording this, um, I've actually edited a ton more of stuff. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2, Super Mario Galaxy, uh, hasn't been recorded yet, but, uh, I will today, have no fear, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but, uh, we are doing very well in Versus. Uh, Dame has a bit of trouble, uh, editing, or recording, rather, because his new Mac and Elgato don't really get along well. Uh, yeah, so we're just still hiring out some few glitches on that. Um, yeah, but this is pretty much Rabbi. Uh, I did it again. Rambi's. Um, you know, bonus area. You just go and rack up some high scores. Woo! Let's edit in that lovely TP6 there's not enough room for the four. T. E. Oh, is there even a six? Can I even get a six on here? No, I can't. Toad player. Done. No, I don't want to do it again. Are you kidding me? Anyways, uh, two weekends ago, or actually last weekend, was Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, now, as we play on guards, I'm going to tell this story, and it, believe me, guys, it's awesome. All right, and guards is using the same area as the final boss. Okay, swim through the stars to increase your score. Okay, anyways, um, I went to my aunt's last weekend, um, and I haven't been there in a while, and uh, it was during harvest time. So my cousin was out harvesting and whatnot, and uh, he told me about this man shack that he had. So we go there, and it's just a shack in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of a field, and uh, so while she was touring um, the lands and whatnot, um, she stopped off at this because they got really bad flooding down there. Anyways, uh, to further up my point, um... I went and saw his man shack, and apparently he had a friend hook up some uh, electricity to it. And, um, uh, excuse me. Uh, he hooked up a old television, a satellite receiver, and there was an N64 there. And so I was like, oh, cool. And he had 20 games there. I was like, what the hell? But they were so gross and dirty and whatnot. And so I asked him. I was like, oh, whose games are those? Oh, uh, well, they're just a buddy of mine's. So I was like, oh, and he's like, yeah, he just gave them to me. And I was like, well, if you want for $20, I'll give them off your, I'll take them off your hands. So for $20, I got two N64 controllers, a memory pack, an N64 itself, and 20 games, including Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Mario 64, Yoshi Story, Kirby, Kirby the Crystal Shards, and they all work. I'm not even kidding. I polished them up. They were so gross. It's not even funny. 
um but yeah the n64 works both the controllers all the buttons all the games i was so excited anyways now that that story's done for 10 um uh, for 10 uh yeah banana fairies you can go and fight any boss that you want um including like you know army dillo dodagon mad jack uh puff toss uh dodagon again uh army dillo mark two and king cutout now what's also oh, oh wait i'll show that later for 15 battle crush off if you hit the z button you turn them on up until last year, I had no idea what the hell it did. But then, I went to Con Battle, and there is a secret character of Crusha. You can play as blue, yellow, purple, or green. He uses oranges as his gun, and he, like, holds them down by his, like, waist, and he just, like, it's freaking sweet. So, yeah. Uh, nice surprise. Uh, that's where I was kind of leading to at the beginning of the video. Uh, now for 20, you, all the banana fairies in the game, you get cheats. These cheats gives you unlimited instrument ammo, unlimited crystal coconuts, unlimited film, unlimited oranges, unlimited ammo, unlimited coins, and everything. It's kind of worth it, but so like... You can just breeze through the another half of the game because if you turn all these on they affect all save files speaking of save files game one 101 percent game three 101 percent game two 101 percent game one is just my personal file of just doing whatever uh it's since like 10 years i've had this activated and it's like 375 minutes and 17 seconds i think Th no sorry is that 375 hours huh that's weird 15 hours yeah no i couldn't beat it in 15 minutes are you kidding me 15 hours and 37 minutes and 22 hours and 51 minutes uh yeah i just want to show that off now one big thing i have a twitch account for those of you who don't know uh, at ToadPlayer64, that is my Twitch account. I've been trying to get it working no matter what, but I just can't with my Mac. If you guys have any, any idea of how to do it for free, mind you, because I'm a cheap bastard, I would be so grateful. But I am currently learning of how to speedrun Donkey Kong 64. Um... I haven't like done official thing because I wanted to capture all three of my perfect save files on film here. Three, one, three, and two again. Um, anyways, um, so I'm speedrunning this, and there's actually a variety of glitches that I found in this game. For example, uh, to start it off using this one method, you have to go to the intro screen, uh, and go to the intro story, but you have to press B at the exact same time, or sorry, press A, I screwed it up. You have to press A at like a very specific frame. No, I did it too early there. There. Hear that? Neither do I. You cut off the music. So there's no music and it's really creepy for that matter. Um, but I was just playing around one day and I realized Mad Jack has no music, which is kind of weird. Uh, the only way you can cancel this out is go back into the intro story. There we go. Now, the interesting thing when I was playing around with it was Mad Jack is I screwed it up, didn't I? Well, let's just go ahead and say. I am totally okay. prepared for this, guys. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, I screwed it up. You gotta get it to make it no music, and then go into Mad Jack. Doing so will... Well, you're here. Oh my gosh, Tiny. Can you please... There we go. So going on here... You know, everything will proceed as normal, right? Uh, but... We just wait.
you know, Mad Jack's theme plays, right? Well, let me tell you. We can have it in the menu. I just, I remember one day when I found this out, I was just chilling listening to Mad Jack. Uh, over at Toad's Tunes, for those of you who don't know, uh, Toad's Tunes is my piano playing channel. Uh, I did a cover of Mad Jack. You will find that either the, in the description or an annotation above on screen, I mean. Uh, so yeah, this is just really freaking cool. Um, also, uh, I'm just gonna actually, you know what, screw it. Let's load up my Let's Play file. If you go into the normal, then, it, you know, music changes. Uh, less cool. Anyways, um, but, uh, in my research of how to speedrun this game, I realized a very awesome freaking glitch. Or, I don't know if it's a glitch. A manipulation of the game physics. That's a better way to describe it. Um, a good spot is right here. Uh, you can get to Crystal Caves so early. What DK does is his air attack brings his fist down, right? Uh, which is pretty much a, uh, the inspiration behind his, uh, Meteor Smash and Smash Brothers. Um, but he also has his B forward attack. That's the kick. So, what we want to do is we want to jump up, press B, and continue to mash B going up this slope until he does his kick. And if we do it right, we should get... DK flying! Woo! So, using this little trick, we can go to Crystal Caves' entrance so early. Just that log there, or that rock there, rather, it's not solid. We could just walk right through it if it was here. But we can also do it in many other places, such as, oh my lord, such as Time Warp. Ah, K. Rule, you have lost the touch of your ship. Just saying. At least I can see now. Anyways, doing the same trick on this slope, we can kick. Oh my lord! Of course I can't get it. I'm doing it wrong. This may take me a while. Well, you get the point. Uh, doing the same trick, you can skip uh, the entirety of... Well, it just allows you to go to Frantic Factory early. Uh, I could never get the other glitch to work. Anyways, but... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that I wanted to show for bonus content. Um, oh, right. I know. One other thing we're going to take. Oh, my lord. Yeah, um, if you, well, since at the very, let me just explain. At the beginning, we started the intro story, right? But then we cut out of it as soon as the music came off, right? So, what we've done is the intro story was still playing as we were playing the game. But now since it's finished, uh, yeah, we're here. What? Okay, this is actually where I wanted to go, truth be told. So, if we go over here... We've never really explored this area, have we? Um... Well, there is a hidden thing uh, behind this waterfall if you were looking, if you were watching the end credits, and if we go here, our banana horde is still missing, even though we have 201 bananas. It's kind of weird. I don't know why they did that, but whatever. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, let's just, you know, close this off. Uh, talk about the project. Um, this is my favorite game of all time. Hands down. I just have so many childhood memories with this game. Uh, 
it's so unique. I love collectathons to bits. Um, I'm super sad that they didn't make another game like it. Um, it's just amazing. The controls are smooth. The game, the mini games are fun. The banana collecting's fun. Um, yeah, it's definitely worth it. If you guys can find a used copy of it, I'd recommend it to anybody. <sighs> um, you know, I wish I could have, like, uh, gotten my capture card earlier, sooner rather, um, because then I could have just showed this game in its full potential and instead of the crappy tripod setup we all know and love. Um, yeah, but, uh, favorite game of all time, I'm super happy that I got to Let's Play for you guys. I just wish I can get my Twitch working so I can stream it on a daily basis. Well, not daily, jeez. Uh, I have a life. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but... Um, anyways, yeah, uh... I don't know of any other better way to close this off than to trickshot Junk... Yeah, Chunky. Um, so, Chunky, if you run and quickly turn around, he will do this. Uh... I said he will do that he will skid if you can time the skid as you jump you can get him to do a crazy triple jump because he can jump the highest out of all the kongs did you see that let me do that one more time i said let me do that one more time there we go Woo! look at that uh ass I don't really know. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for making this Let's Play so fun. Um, thank you to Carcinogen and K-Meister for guest starring. Uh, I don't think Dane guest starred on this, so no thank you, Dane. Uh, anyways, I will catch you guys later on my channel where we will do some more fun projects like this one. See you guys then.